wonder if they carved the butt crack. <laughs> we love the CCC. I think it was uh, FDR's and America's best idea. Yes. Looks like a big booger, actually. That's cave bacon. That's my favorite. <laughs> this would be left undiscovered if it was up to Jesse. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> maybe the second time that that has happened to us where our primary target was full and it actually worked out you know pretty good because the place we stayed at was great and it was free yeah and we were only there for like better. eight hours it's so, just an overnight quick yes. stop i mean that's exactly why we always have a backup plan when we're doing these types of things just to make sure we have a backup exactly i know a lot of you like to plan ahead and have all of your reservations set up that's just not how we travel but if you're going to do it like us you always need that backup oh my gosh this place is so stunning never taken this road before oh so, my word we are continuing our journey up to glacier um and it's raining so that's why we decided to keep on moving and not explore yellowstone for another day so it's raining so what should you do if it's raining well i don't know go Something. see a movie Something but, inside. <laughs> but today, we actually found some caverns to explore. Lewis and Clark State Park, um, they've got a campground there, so we're gonna try to stay there. We are really excited to do that. It looks a lot like Wind Cave, and we loved that tour. So it's a two hour tour, long way. You don't have to go back through the same parts of the cave that you've gone before. It's all the way one way through, so I think it's gonna be really cool. Right now, it's not raining. <laughs> My name's Michelle. Welcome to Lewis and Clark Caverns. How many of you have been here before? Nobody. Okay, you're not going to question my facts. <laughs> you all have signed up for the classic tour, which means we've got an ambitious little walk. It's three quarters of a mile. Uh, there are switchbacks. I had a woman that the, uh, had to have been well into her 80s that came. Her dad had been part of the CCC and she was insistent on taking the trip with her daughter, granddaughter, great granddaughter because her dad had been one of the CCC oh my gosh, that's So awesome. I thought that was amazing. But I wanted you to get up there before it rains again. <laughs> so. Okay, so we made one of the last tours of the day. We got here in the perfect amount of time. We like ran up and there were two minutes before the tour was going off. They're doing one every hour. We are taking the classic tour, which is two hours. It's a steep climb up, but I mean... I think it's 300 feet views. elevation gain. It's and then... Beautiful all the way down. It's a big loop, so that's really cool. Yeah, and there's 600 stairs that will be descending and ascending through the caves as we go through. So really excited. Our tour guide is very knowledgeable and we're really excited to hear more about this cave. We are at 5,400 feet and there are shell fossils up here. It's amazing. I love it. So did you guys see that the grate over the hole? Yeah, we're we're going to go under. The Indians would always say that when the mountain started smoking, winter had arrived. Well, what was going on is the cave is like 48 to 50 degrees all year long. When the warm air from the cave met with the colder outside air, it, it wasn't actually smoke at all. It wasn't until 1892 that some ranchers in the Willow Creek area came up hunting. So there's snow all on the ground in November and they got up here and right around the discovery hole there was moisture but no snow well they looked down and how do you figure out how deep something is throw a rock in and it took a long time <laughs> yeah. for that rock to 
to land. The discovery hole was the only, that was the opening, but there must have been a little bit of an opening here. So they blasted through here. They created a passageway. They went about building over 2,000 wood steps throughout the cave. Dan Morrison started advertising like in the Butte Standard and the Anaconda Paper and various places. He got, you know, marketing ideas from when they would come in on the train, the Northern Pacific from Butte. He continued giving tours from 1898 to 1932. Oh my God. He died in 1932. It was the depression and people were starving and hungry right. all over the place and one of FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, as part of his New Deal, one of his projects, I guess, was the Civilian Conservation mm -hmm. Corps. Best thing and did, really. Best they thing ever. put, it was, I mean, mm -hmm. it's amazing. They did so much for the state of Montana, and I'm sure a few All of the other, the other every states. Every, 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 every place we go, we learn about the CCC. They brought out 200, 250 young workers, 18 to 30 year olds, and they had a camp out of La Hood, and they had barracks and, you know, um, you know, their housing and you know, everything Whitehall was, was a ways away. Everything, everything including did. education. The numbers, there were millions of yeah. like young men that learned how to read for the first time in the CCC. Right. It's incredible. See, see, I think it's just, well, I don't know if they could do anything like that today, but they built the road, they built the visitor center, these trails, it's they amazing. built a passageway, they took out all the steps. I am just, well, I'm just so grateful for what they did. Let's go. You all ready? Let's do it. Yeah. Ready. Okay. It begins. This is pretty cool. Whoa. There's definitely bats up there. I can tell. Oh. 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 Wow. I'm excited. Yeah. Wow. This is Thank you. Going, thank you. Going into the cave with 11 guests. So what is the elevation here? Um, 5,600. Okay. At the visitor center, we were 5,300. Oh my gosh, they're flying around. You can see the bats. That's incredible. So that is the discovery hole right there, and some hunters found it because they were there in the winter, and the condensation from here, there was no snow around this hole, and that's how they discovered it. And then this is the original way they went down, which is where we're going. This is cool, so I'm guessing that was blasted Here's the out. the first one. Incredible. It said one step took three days to cut out with a chisel and a hammer. Three days for every stair. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh man. This is well lit. Like, I, know. I feel like I can actually photograph this. Wow. Or film. Put your heads here, guys. They did say there's a lot of ducking on this tour. And there's a slide somewhere apparently. Not for me. Not for me. Oh, really? <laughs> Suckers. Can you imagine being here before all this was built? Look all the way down there. Oh my gosh. Really, watch your head on this one, Lily. You're going to be awesome. I'm going to 360. Like straight down. Oh man. Oh, holy. So, I think you can hear me at the end, can you? Oh, yes. Okay. So the rumors are true. There is a slide coming up and that we're going to go down. And she was telling us, like a lot of other places, national parks and whatnot, the early people here um, generally took a lot of souvenirs. So, they're estimating probably 10,000 spires that used to be, you know, connected here had been taken. Some of the original tour guides would actually encourage it to take a souvenir. Right, make sure you show what these stairs look like right here. They're incredible. Oh, look, wow. Isn't that amazing? Look like that. agates or whatever yeah, it is? Yeah, I don't know. It's incredible. But I'm just assuming all of it used to look like that right there. But yeah, look at these stairs. Can you imagine? Well, yeah, you're looking at it. 
No, but can you imagine like finding this for finding the first it, time? Yeah. Like by candlelight? Like, like come on. Or coming in here every day and like making these stairs. So, stalactites, stalagmites. I guess that's the slide right there. Oh my gosh. It's shaped <laughs> like a butt. Man, we should have we should have brought some Pam or something. Lily is going down the slide in the cave. <laughs> well, scoot, scoot. Oh my god! I wonder if they carved the butt <laughs> track yeah. groove or. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. It's so cold. Yep. Keep your head down. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll just push it. There's a bump there. Watch for the bump. Okay. Oh, my, my hips didn't fit through there. Yeah. I didn't realize I was that wide. Okay. I guess I am. Oh, I confirmed it. Word. I confirmed Corey's it. wide. Oh my gosh. You're okay? Yeah. Did you get the bump? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Look at all these. I don't know if it's going to come through on the GoPro, but look at all these little formations. Okay, this is really low, guys. Oh my gosh. A true adventure. This is true. Nobody's ever done this before. No, but this does feel like true spelunking, right? <laughs> Look at this. I don't think so. It's pretty lit. Yeah. We got stairs. Yeah. Oh, your butt's wet. Yeah, I knew I'd gotten in water. This is why being tall isn't a great thing. This is really wild, actually. Watch those steps. Oh, man. Stay down, Lou. That's cave bacon. That's my favorite. <laughs> this is literally what it's called. Would you be an early explorer, honey? Not in the cave, I wouldn't have, nope. <laughs> you couldn't have paid me to come down here with I a I thought candle. you just said you felt like a true spelunker just, yeah, a, no. just a short while ago. No, I felt like we were actually like going through a cave where we had to like duck down and stuff, but like no lights, no flashlights, no thank you. <laughs> this would be left undiscovered if it was up to Jess. Yep. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> I'll swim with alligators, but I'm not going in a cave. In a dark cave with no light. So this is the haunted Tunnel? Is that what she said? Or ghost tunnel? Ghost tunnel. Guys, this is the cathedral room. Yeah. And why do you think it's called the cathedral room? The ceiling. What about the ceiling? It's that's exactly right. That is exactly right. Okay, so the vaulted ceiling, but we have flowstone, which all this just flows down the right side. Geologists, I'm sure, have other terms, but they call it canopy, drapery. Then we have, when the water drips from the ceiling, what do we call that? Stalactite. They hang tight to the ceiling. But when water drips from the ceiling and the formations get built from the ground level up, what are those called? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you might trip over them. Now, that's uh, that's right. <laughs> okay, so when they grow together, you could have a stalactite that goes all the way to the ground, or, you know, they can meet in a column. Those are the three types of dripstone the stalactites, the stalagmites, and the columns. Now there is a third, uh, which is called the seep stone or the erratic, and we'll see better examples when we get down to the next room. Water oozes out so slowly, things are gonna grow every which way. So you're gonna see a lot of popcorn. So come on down, I think we get a better view of some of these things. Do you wave? Do you wave dance that you hit on us the other day? 
Come on, let me see. Can't it. be shown to the public just yet. Got to perfect it. We're gonna talk to my managers about that. <laughs> We're gonna go down through an area called the Garden of the Gods, and I'm not gonna talk to you for a long time. And don't be saying yes. I just want to enjoy. <laughs> okay, um, we'll turn a little bit of a corner, and there are a few low places, and it looks like there's dripping candles everywhere. Before you make a abrupt turn, you're going to look off to the left and there's a little crystal pool. Morrison used to let people use it as a wishing well. You look like a hobbit. Get up, hobbit. Yeah, this is where we fall. It's like oh, Alright, we need the girls to get down there. That's the spot. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want me to go down too? Yeah, go down there. See, I love these, these shots like this just because it gives you perspective and sometimes it's a little hard in a, in a tunnel system I think it's like the redwoods from a distance they just look like regular trees sometimes until you get a person up next to them and then you're like dang that's a big tree <laughs> this is a deep cave Big cave. look at this Corey this is phenomenal oh yeah I think the, the first big cavern was cool, but I think this is my favorite part. Right this here. This is like amazing. Wait, the little pool's my favorite. Lily's favorite. Oh, we found Lily's favorite part? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's, it's super still. Oh man. Isn't that phenomenal? Yeah, it's tinged green because they used to throw money into it, but they pulled it all out. Are you all okay if I give you the experience of being in darkness? Yes. Okay. This might be the last time I ever see you guys. <laughs> okay. Love you all. Um, so every third person would carry a candle. Now, so can you imagine? Raise your hand if, was that enough? <laughs> was that enough? That wasn't even funny. But I'm going to show you one more thing that is kind of cool. I'm going to turn the lights off again for a second. I don't care if you have your cameras on, but... Oh, cool. Oh, wow. So you can do that a lot of places in the cave, but it's phosphorescent. So it's phosphorescent. So watch this. She's lit it up. Okay, you want me to... Maybe I didn't leave it there long no, enough. No, you did. This, oh, this, this is just a GoPro. It stays, the it, stays, it stays glowing. It's kind of like wax. It yeah, it does. does. It, it looks, looks like the people that like dip wax over and over. And a little over. transparent. That's probably why all these different colors are on these steps. Look at the stairs. They're like phenomenal. Looks like a big booger, actually. I think she wall. said yeah, we're going to take color. a peek at the paradise room, and she said there's a lot more color in that. Oh, you can that see room. the layers on this. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. But that means we have to go up. Uh-huh. We're going up. It looks like a worm going up right there. Mm -hmm. One mile high. This is the stair. That's the stair that says one mile high. 5,280 feet. So smart. <laughs> no applause? Nothing? No. Okay, where is it? Right here. Oh, one mile high right there. These stairs are ridiculous. Gosh. Wow. Way to go, CCC. My heroes. They really are. So this is the bed she's talking about. Look. The tunnel is 538 feet. Half duty, and this is like 18 year olds with dynamite. So they blasted through, and so when the first one, when I let you in, the first one down there, you got the garden door. So this is the paradise room. You can see all the different colors. It's not actually as purple as that's making it look. It's more red, but GoPro doesn't know what it's doing. This is cool. Oh my gosh. Look at this 
unfortunately, we're done. <laughs> we're done and I'm always late. She was saying that because of the way the cave is formed, one door cannot be open while the other door is open. So you can only do one at a time. So you have to really watch the door so someone could get killed. Like oh, it sucks, of... the suction is so, so tight. Yeah. Two, three, four, we're good. All right. So, so is this the big door that's going to make the loud noise? Yeah, but I'm not going to. See, if I slammed it, it would have been. Wow. Should I do it again? Yeah, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to put one, this camera on. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Now, there are a few places where you can see where they put the dynamite. Yeah. Of course, if I'm looking, I can't find them. <laughs> but they would hang the lanterns from here. Did you guys see? Well, oh. she's, got the, she's got the light. Oh, what are they, little geodes? Yeah. Here, shine yeah. your light in there, Lily. Here, I got it. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. That is awesome. Up higher? That's um, pretty Weird cool. love, come take your photo if you want. Yeah, come take it. While I shine the flashlight, then you can get the photo. Oh, okay. Listen to that. Wow. It's crazy. That sound is insane. The reverberation is what we heard when she closed the door through this 530 foot long tunnel that they blasted out of the rock to make an exit. Yes. Yes. So when I go back to this walk, I know. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for coming. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh my gosh. And are really. you last but not least? Is the sun out? Oh, Look at this. This is oh. Michelle, and we are walking out into the sunshine. We made it out alive. <laughs> we just exited. Um, that is actually where we entered, way up there. Oh man! So now we're we're back at you know the same level as the visitor center. a good rainy day event. We actually came out and it was sunny, which was definitely not on the agenda. And we have been driving for like 35 minutes in the sun and now we're back into the rain. Back into the rain here in a minute. It looks like uh, we're coming into Butte right now. I don't know. That was my favorite cave system we've been in so far. Yes. We've only been into two others, so we don't have a lot to compare it by. Um, we went to Wind Cave, which I love. Which is wonderful. I loved Wind Cave. Yes. We also went to Mammoth and it was right at the beginning of COVID and so only a small portion of the cave system was open. So I feel like we haven't really done Mammoth like, justice. justice. So yeah, we need no. to go back and do that again. We're definitely going to go back there. I really want to do Carlsbad Caverns. Mm -hmm. Someone on that tour was actually mentioning something about a cool cave system in Rainier. Have you been to that one? Um, is it cool? I don't know. Let yeah. us know. Let us know. Besides that, what's your favorite cave system that you've been into? And have you been to this one? There's I don't know if it counts as caves, but I will say that we absolutely loved going into the lava tubes at Craters like, of the Moon. That was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, there were some right. cool caves there. Oh, so I think we do have to cool. kind of count those as well. So we love caves. We love that whole feel and like being underground. So let us know what your favorite ones are. Butte's kind of known for a couple things, probably a million things. But this is what I know about it. It has this decrepit old mine that is filled with water. So it's now called like a super fund or something. I guess that just means basically a giant natural disaster that we caused. So, <laughs> well not me, I didn't do the mining, but the, the, the it's so bad, the water that filled up into the mine is so bad, I think they're actually mining the water. That's how thick the water is with, with so toxins bad. and metals. But anyways, back to the caves. <laughs> Girls, what was your favorite thing? Uh, the little, uh, little like, pond. The little pool oh, the little that was pool, down there, yeah. that was really cool. That would probably be one of my favorites too. And the fact that it was turned green because of the coins. I mean, it's probably <laughs> yeah. not good, but it looks pretty. It, it did good. look really cool in there. Well, there's just a lot of history and, and little facts that you learn on these tours that, yeah. that 
I don't know, they don't always make it to the video, but it's just really interesting stuff yeah. if you've ever been on those tours before. Super uh, fun. The fact that the CCC built it all, the fact that the CCC built basically everything that you enjoy in national parks, mm -hmm. state parks, uh, national forest, everywhere. So impressive. CCC, I don't know, we probably beat that to death on this channel, but <laughs> we love the CCC. I think it was uh, FDR's in America's best idea. Yes. So this cave, we drove our RV right up to the top. There's a little warning that says it's a steep winding road, 9% grades. Yep. I didn't really... Wasn't an issue. Feel. It's about three miles. It's about three miles. Yep. I think I've said it before, we tow about as long as a 40 or 41 foot fifth wheel, no height restrictions or anything. But if you don't want to do that, you can drop your RV at the visitor center that's at the base or you can stay at the campground and just drop your, your RV there. We were going to stay there but we realized that when we pulled into there there was no service. We're coming into the weekend. Uh, we got a lot of work right. to do so we need service. So we are on our way north continuing our journey towards Glacier. Yes, so we're moving to our plan B. We have always said you gotta have two, two plans. Make sure that you got to back up and this will be our second plan B in a row. <laughs> yeah. So we're staying at a fairgrounds, and we stayed at a fairgrounds. It's back in Colorado, that worked out great. Usually they're inexpensive, and like they're just cool places to hang out. I love being on a fairgrounds property, yeah. it's awesome. So we are headed to the fairgrounds in Deer Lodge, and it's $20 for electric, and they do have water that is on the property that you can fill up with, and it's $10 for boondocking. I hope you enjoyed uh, 30 hours of uh, what it looks like to travel with FOS. We just wanted to get on and thank you so much everyone who ordered from the It's Better Outside Fall Store and who ordered either of our hats. We did want to let you guys know that the Aqua hats are sold out, but we do have some more of the It's Better Outside Patriotic Edition fully custom hats available with the blacked out American flag as well as all of the fun Easter eggs all the way around the hat. So if you have not had a chance to order them or you're looking for a last minute Christmas gift, you can get those at the link in the description below or on our website. We hope you guys are enjoying the holiday season and we'll see you soon.